Amen. The key is that Daniel was only set up by his colleagues. Amen. That is why he took start with him and do night vision. Continue. Verse 21. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God had sent his angel and had shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in him. Mm -hmm. And also before thee, O king, <laughs> have I done no hurt. <laughs> then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. Hallelujah! Continue, sister. And the king commanded and brought those, those men which <laughs> had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of the lions, oh. them, their children, and their wives. And the lion had the mysteries of them, and break all their bones in pieces. And ever they came at the bottom of the dam. Then King Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell, in, that dwell in all the earth, Peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every... In every in a, I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men travel and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and steadfast forever. <laughs> and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And his dominion shall be ever unto the king, unto the end. He delivered and rescued, and he worked signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lion? So this that this, so this Daniel proposed in the reign of Darius and in the reigns of Cyrus the pastors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you understand now why God was saying Nebuchadnezzar was his servant? Are you seeing it gradually? Praise the Lord. Amen. The difference between Nebuchadnezzar and you is that he was an unregenerated soul. He had knowledge of God. But not a perfect knowledge. Amen. He had the fear of God, but not the perfect fear of God. Why? He was a man with dual nature. He do evil now and do good tomorrow. And then that one meaning he do evil again. Amen. That why we need conversion. Praise the Lord. You see him praising God and praising God and praising God and praising God. The next two minutes again you begin to abuse God and insult him by his actions. And there are so many Christians today they claim to fear God but by their action they are actually insulting God. Praise the Lord. There are many that can't be born again today. They are seen dwelling and their dual nature is holding their soul captive. So he find out that today he's praising God. Praising God. For the whole of today he will sing hymns. But tomorrow when he's in his office or in the marketplace, he will even lie in order to make profit. The clothes you buy for one thousand naira at the Kotonu, tomorrow you will swear, Makachuku, I bought a five hundred naira. I am only getting two naira inside. Yet you are lying. You see? May we get into maturity in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Do we see time to read? No. Let's go to our study. <laughs> 